In this video, I will compare ChatGPT 3.5 version, which is free, everyone can access this version, with ChatGPT 4, which is paid version you can buy from OpenAI website. So we will compare with making UI design in React.js. I will show you quickly how to open your ChatGPT account and how to use it. Just simply go to chat.openai.com and you will redirect to login page. Let me show you quickly uh, this page and just sign up, make new account here. You can just write your email address or Google, Microsoft or Apple. When you done with making new account, you will redirect to chat screen. By default, you will get 3.5 version, which is free. Just you can access chat GPT text version. For example, you can just say make an example project with React.js custom responsive navbar. And ChatGPT will make for you an example simple navbar using React.js. And you will just copy and paste to your project. And in this video, I will compare free version with paid version for developers, which will be better for making website or mobile applications or just entire coding. So if you want to upgrade your version to plus or team, so there is $20 currently monthly you should pay for plus version and also team version is $25. So for this video, I will compare between plus and free version. So let's get started. All right, so I have ChatGPT4 on my other account, so we can compare now. I will just make two different folder, which is first one, ChatGPT 3.5, and let me open React.js file, ChatGPT 3.5.js. And also, I will do copy paste, and let me rename this to ChatGPT 4, and also file name ChatGPT 4. RFC to make our component, and let me change this to, and also ChatGPT 4 RFC. Go back to app.js and I will just delete this code here and let's call our components, which is first one ChatGPT 3.5 and also ChatGPT 4. And to see the difference between them, I will ask ChatGPT to make some style with the CSS to displaying with React.js. Like for example, maybe a product, shop cart, or maybe navbar or others, maybe button or any animations to see between them. Import ChatGPT4 here. I think it can't find. All right, so we have ChatGPT3.5 and ChatGPT4. So first of all, let's ask the furry version to make a shop cart, shop product cart with React.js and make it really good UI. And let's see the result, how it's look like. All right, it's just showing us how to make new React.js project and run your project. Also, there is a component called product. And we have some style here, app.css. All right, so let's just make for ChatGPT 3.5 component. So open new CSS and write app.css like this. First of all, let's copy the CSS file code. And uh, of course, I will do copy paste this product list or product information to my component. Let me just quickly check. Yeah, this code here. Let's copy this inside this component. I don't want to change the ChatGPT 3.5 name. And also product here and getting the information from app, but here we will just get it, this list, as I told you here. So now uh, we have an error, it says use state, it's not found. So I will just say use state and enter. All right, so let's see the result. Oh, all right, um, says example product and some text and the price add to cart. All right, so not good that much. Oh guys, sorry, uh, uh, I forgot to import 
my CSS file. That's why we don't see any change of that CSS. So let's see now. All right. So now it is looks better, right? All right. So it just made a card horizontally, and there's a button to add a card. And it says added example product to card. Yeah, it's good. And one, two, three. Also, it says added five example products to card. Yeah, really good. All right, it was my bad. Uh, I forgot to add CSS file. All right, so and I will just copy paste my text to ask same thing. All right, so made a product card component and some CSS codes. All right, it's done. Uh, let's do copy paste. Let's go to ChatGPT4 and copy and paste. And we have product. Yeah, uh, ChatGPT4. It's not shows the product at app.js. Let me ask. I just want to see the same idea from ChatGPT3. And it should write also at free version. So I will do copy paste there. My title, description, and image. Yeah, okay. So, and also, let's copy CSS file, codes, and open new file here, app.css, and paste your code. Also, import your CSS. All right, so now we should see result. All right. Uh, and ChatGPT4 code, it just changed horizontally to vertical. That looks great. We'll just add placeholder image also for ChatGPT4 with a link to display better UI. All right, let me make full screen. Yeah, uh, both is similar. Uh, ChatGPT3 is adds more information and some, and some border radius like circle and makes image better to me. Also, this image is good. And here the title is bigger, also has description, also for ChatGPT4. And we have price, which is not added for ChatGPT4. How many items you want to add to your card? This is which is better than ChatGPT4 here. If I compare here, like I can say ChatGPT3, now it's good for this. Of course, ChatGPT4 gives you image AI image generator, but to me for now, I can say ChatGPT3, which is free version, is better. All right, guys, so that was the video. And please give me idea to compare between ChatGPT3 and 4. And we will understand is that much good ChatGPT4 to pay for it. I hope you like it. See you in the next one.